，我是来自北京邮电大学现代邮政学院自动化学院的学生陈玉竹。因为我在学院里面做一些学生工作，然后了解到全国青少年模拟政协提案征集的这么一个活动。我和我的同学也是一些短视频爱好者嘛，我也是发现一些内容是不太适合青少年去观看，包括一些广告啊、一些游戏直播类似的内容。The booming short video industry is generating controversy and scrutiny. Because of claims of vulgar content and youth internet addiction. Hello, Tong Tong, you. Hello. Do you usually watch short videos? Yes. After interviewing their schoolmates and other youngsters, this group of four decided to focus on the issue of minors' addiction to short videos. Ah, so we think we can use the proposal of a legislation to push forward a government proposal to pass a law or a regulation. The Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, or the CPPCC, is a platform on which leading representatives of all sectors of society participate in state affairs. In practice, CPPCC members serve as advisors to the government and to legislative and judicial organs, offering proposals on political, social, and technical issues. It is like our proposal is like a legislative proposal. 它是个建言自证的载体，和这个有关部门落实政策一个重要的一个直通车。Nearly 170,000 young people took part in the China Youth Model CPPCC event, submitting over 50,000 proposals covering all walks of life. 模拟政协提案活动是我们从2019年开始策划和发起的一个全国性的活动。我们通过引导全国的大中学生，我们引导他们参与到这个活动里面来，哎、呃，引领他们呢主动的去，哎、呃，关心、关注自己身边的这些热点话题。With the guidance of a professor, this team won a national award of excellence in February 2022, and their proposal was noticed by a CPPCC member. 这个提案呢，我会提到这个政协这个十三届。五次会议，然后通过，呃，提案、审查、立案，最后呢办理，交给相关部门，最后呢，他们有的这个意见呢会得到政策的采纳，不是全部吸收，有的某一条，比方说实名制，我们认为条件成熟了可以吸收，有的呢可以采用部分吸收。每年啊都会有一些好的提案进入到政协委员的视野里面去，我们会给他们列一个清单，告诉他们今年我们前一百名。关注的这些社会话题，然后呢，政协委员呢，他们来自各行各业，他们也会根据他们自己的感兴趣的，以及他们认为有必要带到全国两会上进行呼吁的，他们也会来选择。哎，这是一个双向的互动。这里边还有一个过程。Young people, like all Chinese citizens, can make their voices heard, their ideas taken seriously, their concerns addressed via multiple channels. 呃，去年十一月份，我也参加了北京学联的那个代表大会，当时在会上也是进行了一些发言，就是真正的参与进来了吧，真正切身的体会到这个制度并不是它只是躺在书本上让我们学的一个名词。那么模拟体验也是这样啊，它能让青年学生看到我们国家这个宪政民主是怎么运行的，呃，体验怎么写，政协民主意识是怎么译的，他们也到现场去看过，有第一手的体会。嗯，也是给我们提供了一个关注国家大事和社会民生的一个机会，然后，呃，也是提升了我们作为公民的社会责任感。China has what it calls a multi-party cooperation system and a political consultation system in which the CPC exercises state power. The structure is designed to optimize the decision-making process. Our political system embodies three elements: CPC leadership, multi-party cooperation, and political consultation. They comprise our new model of party system. Over the past decade, we have further improved this system. People's congresses, government departments, people's organizations, social organizations, and communities. We have built a broad-based, multi-level, and institutionalized consultation system. In the campaign to contribute ideas to the 20th CPC National Congress this June, we collected over 8 million pieces of suggestions from netizens all over China. 
through the online channel alone. China's democratic consultation, I think, has four major sources. First, the best of traditional Chinese culture, aspiring for the common good, mutual understanding and inclusiveness, and seeking common ground while setting aside differences. Second, the united front. We understand the complexity of China's national conditions and the need to pull the strength of all fronts to the full. Third, we built China through consultation. Fourth, reform and opening up to better promote the modernization drive and improve our mechanism of democracy. The whole process people's democracy we practice sees people's status as masters of the country. It is a combination of electoral democracy and consultative democracy, exemplified by the whole process covering all aspects of democratic elections, consultations, decision-making, management and oversight. Released in December 2021, this white paper is the first government document on China's political system. It depicts what is called whole process people's democracy, a creation of the CPC. We call China's democracy people's democracy. It is a result of applying nationality theories of Marxism to China's actual conditions. When China was founded, why did we choose the five-star red flag? The one large star represents the Communist Party of China. Four smaller stars, now known as the people, back then referred to the working class, the peasantry, the urban petty bourgeoisie and the national bourgeoisie. Based on its unique political system, economy, society, culture and values, China has strived to forge a democratic paradigm that suits its own conditions. Democracy in the world is not a single model. It has diverse and various forms, since countries have different national conditions, historical cultures, traditions and people's requirements. Hence, democracy should not be singular. It is not right to see democracy as a single Western standard. Over the past decade, China's democracy has seen tremendous growth. Modernization of China's system and capacity for governance, system of consultative democracy, program of rule of law, and whole process people's democracy represent four hallmarks in China's building of democratic politics over the past 10 years.